Okay, you're right here on MTV and we're talking some about something very, very important. And uh, there are people who have diabetes and also there are people who are going towards it. Uh, I hope that uh, you're, you're, you don't fall into none of those categories. But right here, I've got Dr. Mahen Vijay Surya, uh, who seems to be uh, giving us some excellent pointers. Uh, where we left off was, uh, doctor, at uh, type 2 diabetes. Yeah. So let's talk about type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is the social problem. It involves millions. It starts very mild and almost uh, asymptomatic. Sometimes patient comes with complications before they are detected. So we have to screen persons for type 2. Whereas type 1 will come uh, very seriously ill to the doctor. So type 2, we screen, we detect, then what do we do? We first reorganize the lifestyle because the genetic component we cannot reorganize exactly. with the current knowledge. What, we, what happened to us when we were babies in the mother's womb, also we cannot do much now. But we can do whatever we can not to harm the precious body that we have got this birth. Prevention is better than cure. cure. Exactly. So please don't get there because it's going yeah. to be a very hard Problem. ride and it's going to be very, very bumpy. Mm -hmm. And uh, 14th of November, and this is the World Diabetics Day, mm -hmm. and we have a theme. Mm -hmm. It's called nutrition. And yeah. you stressed on that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about it again. Yeah. The issue is healthy as opposed to unhealthy. Now, when you say healthy foods and put that on one side and unhealthy foods on another. It is not that the slightest lick of a bad item of food will kill you. But if you take it too often in too and too much, then you're on a wrong track. So what we say is we have to imbibe healthy foods for all three meals if possible and go on a cereal. Uh, pulses, vegetables, fruits, fish and chicken and make your meals accordingly. Now, meal sh should not be the only source of satisfaction in your life, in which case you will stray. You will stray to the high sugar products, you will stray to the high starch products, you will stray to the high fat products. Then you are on a bit of a bumpy road. Uh, so, you must be by yourself, a person who is happy with yourself, who is taking food in a very, not a measured, but a very correct way. And that should be imbibed by your parents and grandparents and it goes down the line. So, most of us don't like what our parents put on the table, don't like what they say. So, we, when we get a little money in the pocket, we think we can eat anything, anywhere. You can, but cautiously. It is like driving fast. You can get away with it, but you are likely to have an accident. Exactly. Talking about driving fast and, uh, well, look at this. Mm -hmm. well, take a look at this. Take a look at it. It's, it's pretty much heartbreaking. And, uh, Doctor, you linked it into uh, heart disease as well. Heart is the commonest cause of death in a diabetes the commonest cause of death. Yeah. So you need to have a correct nutrition plan. So it's, it's actually all right to be yeah. specific, right, doctor? Yeah. Like on what you eat? Yeah. It, you have no, to The be. issue is, are you going to risk it all for a delightful meal? You may if the meal is f small and far between. But if you eat wrong all the time, then you're pushing your luck. I mean, if you eat right for a long time, you might have that occasional, uh, you know, occasional yes. meal yeah. where you want to squeeze in. Yeah, because in. actually the body is very, very generous in correcting faults or uh, like uh, accepting faults. But there is a limit. There is a limit. Yeah, it's like a girlfriend. You let her down once, she won't get angry with you. But if you let her down Keep regularly, 
she'll go with somebody else. It's gone. So it's pretty hard to handle. And uh, we're talking about diabetes. Mm -hmm. And uh, you need to be very careful because the repercussions of diabetes, mm -hmm. it, it's, not, it's not good. Let's talk about that. Let's, yeah. let's give them a little bit of an idea. Yeah. I mean, they might take it very lightly. Okay, I don't have it right now. Mm -hmm. So they need to know what yeah. happens when you What happens is that if we have overdone the act, blood sugar levels tend to rise. And when it rises in the in that way, it goes through the medium of blood to all the organs. That is the danger of diabetes. It supplies the heart, it supplies the brain, the kidney, the liver, everything. And when it supplies in excess, because our protective devices have failed, it will get uh, into the tissues and make them more prone to heart attacks, strokes, kidney failure, amputation, because it tends to narrow the blood vessels. So this is a, it is like an accident uh, on Gold Road. It will block all the lanes. It will block all the lanes. And uh, my goodness me, and we're talking about our body. Just mm. imagine things shutting down uh, time on time. Uh, doctor, now, okay. You think that you are, you need to know whether okay am I am I on the right track? Mm. How can you get help if you if yeah. you need to have a proper nutrition plan or if yeah. you need to get yourself checked? Yeah, I think it is a simple device which has been now brought to light. We have a fingerprint test which will give you a very reasonable insight as to whether you are in it or outside it or about to get it. So I think minimum is once a year when say in now, we don't know how to start this, when we should start. Those days, we said over 40. Now, we are trying to talk about 20 or earlier than 20. So, I think when you are leaving school and going into either a job or university, you are in going into a different phase of life. Stressors are different. Money has come in. Uh, the way you eat is different. What you do is different. You don't have time for sports. All the sports you did on in school, now you are going to stop or halfway stop. So that is the starting point. We would say 20 and every year you can do a blood test either fasting or after a meal and you can get a pretty good idea whether you are close to it or whether you are far away from it. Far away from it. So there you go. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Mayan Vijay Surya, and he is a consultant physician who specializes in diabetes and also the director of the National Diabetes Center, Rajagiriya, and also he's the secretary of the Diabetes Association in Sri Lanka. Thank you very much for enlightening us about yeah. diabetes and making us aware uh, on this special day. Uh, doctor, would you like to add something else or is... Uh, no, uh, the, why they have made healthy eating they have made it very simple for everybody to realize that we all eat. And if we eat healthy, we remain healthy. It is just that. It is just that. If you eat healthy, you will remain healthy. Once again, thank you very much, doctor. And I hope you learned something new. And also follow. Eat healthy, be healthy. That's thank you right. very much for watching. And uh, this is Prabhat and Dr. Mahin Vijay Surya saying goodbye for you. Have a good day.